continue with our idea of worship today, I want to read in Isaiah 29. And when I say continuing with it today, I mean the thought that we've been doing in the devotionals. Uh, as I read the scripture here, the Lord is speaking through the prophet to his people. And so the Lord says, these people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And their worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by rote. Man, you know, it's that legalistic, religious, man-made idea of what we're supposed to do in order to worship God. And the Lord is like, hey, your, your heart is far from me. And what he's looking at in every aspect of our worship is our heart. He doesn't care how we sing, how long we pray, how long we spend reading the Bible. All those things are important, and there's many more. Don't misunderstand me. That's, all that we're, that's not all that worship is, obviously. But what God is teaching us in his word and the message that he was bringing to his people is that it's your heart that matters, and it's our heart that worships him. And so don't be so quick to punch your spiritual discipline to-do list of prayer and Bible reading and whatever else you have on that list of things that you need to do. Make sure that your heart is engaging with God. When we ask the accountability questions, have you spent time alone with God with no agenda? It's the idea that we need to be with him. And when we're with him, it's not all about us. And usually our prayer, our worship, our encounters with God, we are very much uh, about ourselves in those moments. Yes, we're worshiping him, but we're still in the presence of self. And God is speaking to us about our worship being in the heart and being in connection with him. So let's make sure that we pause, slow down a little bit, and make sure that our heart is worshiping him, no matter what our actions are. God bless you today. Let's be his church. Oh,